Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and I work in Carlow Libraries and today as part of Children's Book Festival I'm going to be reading The Wide Awake Hedgehog written and beautifully illustrated by Rosie Wellesley and published by Pavilion Children's Books. Let's go! The evenings were darkening and the leaves were turning gold. It was the time when hedgehogs should be settling for their winter sleep. But Isaac the hedgehog was not feeling very sleepy. Isaac wanted to play. But who would play with Isaac? Play? asked the squirrels. What a suggestion. We are too busy sorting food for such nonsense. Go to sleep, prickly one. Cold winter is coming. But Isaac was not feeling sleepy. No time for play. We are off, 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 chirped the swallows. We must fly south to the warm. You go too. Go to bed, Mr. Isaac. Go to bed and you will catch cold in the winter. But Isaac was not cold and he did not want to go to bed. Isaac wanted to play. Play? <sighs> Yawned Dormouse. Of course, uh, yes, yes, certainly we must. I'll be down with you. Um, wait one minute, uh, just one minute and I'll be, uh, I'll be. <laughs> and he started to snore. Oh dear, thought Isaac. I only want some fun. Will nobody play with me? Just then he heard a whisper close up in his ear. Isaac, I will give you one last play before winter. Isaac jumped up, but no one was there. Where are you? cried. He cried. Shh, went the whisper. I am everywhere. But thought Isaac, though Isaac looked, he could see no one at all. Where are you? Who are you? Come out and play. I am the one who makes the trees dance. I help the ravens hover. I rustle the grass and whip up the clouds. And now, too, I shall play with you, Isaac. Hold up a finger, then you shall feel me. Is that you, North Wind? Yes, she rustled. And though I am strong and you are small, we shall play together. She held her breath. Are you maybe too small to play catch a leaf? Isaac was not too small for this game. Wind threw the leaves up and Isaac leapt and he tumbled and he snatched at them falling until he was quite pink. But catch them he did. Tut tut, smirked the squirrels. This is surely no way to behave before bedtime. And they scurried off out of the breeze to their shelters. So, said the wind, it seems you are not too small for that game. 
boss, you are too quiet for the roaring game. Isaac was not too quiet for this game. Isaac roared at the wind and she roared back in his ears until both their voices were spent. Nor was Isaac too slow for the spin round and round game. Though wind tickled his nose. Ah, ah, choo! When at last Isaac got tired, he lay on his back and looked at the sky while the wind drew pictures for him in the clouds. Wind, said Isaac, I wish I could see you and I wish I could hold you too. Wind sighed. <sighs> but spy me one, some of the best things can neither be seen nor be held, yet they are real. Like happiness, <sighs> yawned Isaac. Like happiness, smiled Wind, and sleepiness too. Come, little friend, cold winter is coming. Wind ushered Isaac to his pile of leaves. What a nice play we had, she whispered. But now it is time for your long winter sleep. When you wake, it shall be spring and the world will be growing again. I'm really not tired, said Isaac. Will you sing to me, Wind? So Wind whistled around him while Isaac snuggled up warm and waited for sleep and for spring. Thank you very much everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much everyone. See you next time for more stories. Bye bye.